Why, hello. Hello there. Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night. Very late night, actually, in this case. Uh, kind of almost early morning. NXT review. So I tried watching NXT. It was honestly kind of boring. I don't know. Uh, I just think I honestly, I don't know why a lot of anti-Smarks or people who hate Smarks are saying this show is better. I mean, it's, is it better? I mean, are they trying? Like, are there more characters than the last one? Sure. But it's like, it's not that great. You know what I mean there? It's still a lot of stupid shit, but it's in the right direction. I guess. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers motherfuckers. <sighs> this show made me kind of fall asleep, so. It's a very uh, tiring show. So let's talk about NXT for a little bit. Um, <sighs> yeah. So the show started with Tommaso Ciampa, which is, uh, what's his name, Joe Gacy? The guy who's the SJW, and I honestly think that's hilarious. His character is actually very good. God forbid you have characters. But a lot of people say, oh, why, why are you just politics into wrestling? You don't know why? Because this is knocking on them. These are the same people. Like, why we got focused on politics? It's because they're, they're the one that's being focused. And they hate being represented. You know what I mean? Tomas, and yeah, fucking, yeah, Joe Gacy basically mentions out how, like, you know, talks to masculinity and, you know, on my safe space. You know, it's hilarious. So, I actually, uh, Joe Gacy, that's very good. God bless the guy. Good character. Tommaso Ciampa defeats Joe Gacy, but after the match, Harland... Harland? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, he's the Brock Lesnar lookalike guy that people want him to be, like, the next Brock Lesnar, yet he sounds like a major SJW himself in real life. He's nothing like Brock Lesnar. But, like, they make him to be, like, Snicksky, and I think that's hilarious. He attacks Champa, but then grabs Gacy. Gacy tries to stop. It's like, and then he fucking just like, he fucking does it like a what? Is it gonna be some gay relationship? Like I don't fucking. It's really fucking gay looking, but whatever. He basically just gives him like a fucking touch his face and whatever, but okay. And he then he like puts like leaves like it's like oh you know ah uh, I don't want to come out of the closet. It's kind of like what? Is that it was fucking hilarious. But then fucking Joe Gacy tries to hug fucking Tommaso Ciampa. And he's like pushes him away. Like, oh man, what a fucking fag. But that's the character. Then uh, Mandy Rose and her toxic attraction group comes out. And I'm not gonna lie, Mandy Rose looking fucking hot. Along with her other, what's her other chick? I don't know. Like the one who's like brunette now, I think, or blonde. Uh, not the orange bitch. The orange bitch... I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna pretend to give a fuck about her. Because she's the same chick that sucked on bloody tampons. I'm sorry, that's a major turnoff. But hey, whatever. At least they're trying to do something. They're trying to be attractive and shit like that. That's, that's not a problem. God forbid we have that in wrestling. Why can we have this shit on the main roster? Why we gotta get fucking disgusting She-Hulk's Women's Revolution bullshit wrestling? But all oh, Sparks like, how dare the women uh, had like not long match? Who the fuck cares that the women don't have long matches? Who the fuck cares? No one gives a shit about women's goddamn wrestling. Like, if you do, you're a fucking faggot. Holy shit. But yeah, Mandy claims that Toxic Trash Tracking would will show up as champions. Unfortunately, we go to a she hulky bitch. Evie Neals defeats some chick, I guess, as a jobber match. Can we have attractive women be attractive? Like, come on. Why you gotta fuck? Why do women want to be she hulks, man? Come on, that's not cool. A vignette is shown for someone arriving at NXT Halloween Havoc. Some people are saying this is fucking. What's her name? Dakota Kai? Yeah, because of some new fuck, some like a familiar accent. So it's gonna be a fucking women based return, like really? And like really, it's gotta be fucking Dakota K Like fucking A, who gives a shit? Uh, Julius Creed defeats Ikamanjiro, some fucking gay Japanese guy, because he looks fucking gay. After the match, Diamond Mine attacks Jiro, but then Kashida tries to help. Help his probably hidden gay boyfriend, or I don't know. It's coming out week, apparently, people. Are coming, or it's, they're coming out a day late. I don't fucking know. 
Why is there fucking a coming out day on fucking October, by the way? I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, and yeah, they get taken out. Then fucking lash it out, lash lazy bee, you not a sexy black chick, can't be just right. She's back with lashing out, and I don't fucking care. Then Kyle O'Reilly and Von Wagner defeats Pete Dunne and Rich Holland. They didn't give a shit about the match. They didn't see this, actually. Von Wagner, I don't know. I don't really give a shit. Like, what is his character, really? He's just, oh, I I'm gonna help save you or something. But he, like, he looked like he has intensity and shit like that. I think he's definitely, like, the guy that... Apparently, Vince McMahon is very high in this guy. You know, I, I guess because, you know, you got to develop him up a little bit. But, he, you know, he didn't really do much bad in the ring. He wasn't that bad, so. Duke Hudson ver defeats Grayson Waller. I don't fucking know or care. Isn't the Duke guy some PowerPoint presentation? I don't know if that's him. I'm not sure, and I don't care. Indy Hartwell and Persia Pratalo defeat Saray and I don't know, some stupid match that no one gives a flying fuck about. After the match, they, I don't know, they propose some NXT tag title action and shit like that. And fucking talk. So basically, you got some deep diva shit that happened and no one really cares. Fucking, was that bitch? The bitch who looks like fucking Jazz, but it's like a paler version of her. She looks disgusting. Along with Io Shirai, I don't fucking care. Sifa Fuck 2 is coming to NXT 2.0 under new name Solo Sakaya. I'm guessing he's the Uso's brother. And I guess that at least we get some, you know, vignettes. God forbid we have a vignette to be, to be a wrestler, you know? Isaiah Swerve, oh yeah, fucking early on the show. I, I don't know why they don't take notes of fucking people who cut promos. Um, what's his name? Tony D'Angelo. Uh, cut a promo backstage. I actually saw that. I had to rewatch on YouTube though. And then like he fucking end of the end of his fucking promo is like, oh, I have all the booked, you know. Basically, he has some guy in the fucking trunk, and that's fucking hilarious. Some mob shit. So you know that's pretty cool, you know. Apparently, Grayson Waller gives Cameron Grimes dating tips. What the fuck is? I don't fucking care. The Malik Blade is. Set the bounce back. I don't fuck. A lot of these. There's a lot of jobbers. I, you know, what do you expect? This is a fucking developmental brand, but a lot of stupid shit still going on. It's still the same day NXT shit, but at least they're trying to do some stuff. I'm surprised no fucking Braun Breaker though. That kind. That's kind of sad. Then in the main event, Isaiah Swerve Scott defeats Santos Escobar to retain his North American title. His like group got taken out or whatever. But then, oh, after the match. Some guy named Carmelo Hayes, who no one fucking knows or cares, was supposed to be ten to care because he's he won the breakout tournament. He cashes in his shot, even though it's not money in the bank, but he cashes it in apparently, and he won the, the the fucking North American title basically because the guy is leaving to fucking the main roster. I really don't care, honestly. I don't care. It is what it is. So that was NXT for you. Not really entertaining. And this was like actually one of the only. And this was actually one of the NXT shows I tried to bother watching because I was already done for the day. But then, my God, I fell asleep and kind of boring. The only good thing I saw was Mandy Rose, obviously. So, and I was awake for that, thankfully. But then, fucking stupid shit happened. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to really say. NXT is pretty ye tonight. I don't know, but Joe Gacy's pretty cool, so I'll give it that. I'm just kidding, motherfuckers, you know. Drink your Coca-Cola so magnificently while I'm inspired to make some bitches go, shit, oh shit. And, uh, don't be gay, I don't fucking know. And fuck Chucky. Okay, you would never fucking do an impromptu fucking Chucky review. So, Chucky. Let's talk about Chucky. I saw the first episode. Really? Chucky is gay? Or not gay, fucking... His care, his caretaker. We got are we? Do we have to fucking always force this fucking agenda crap? Do we have to always force this LGBT shit? Like, come on. Oh, it's gay, and I, ironically, it comes out after fucking coming out day. Wow, what the fucking do? It wasn't a terrible episode. Which just like, my God, wow, how has television changed for a lot? You know what I mean? And a lot of kind of stupid corny acting happened in the show. 
and boy, really, when they're hi casting high school people, man, do they look like high school people from nowadays? Because back in back in the day, when you guys would cast people like in Scream, the high school would look more mature. I don't know. I guess like, cause I'm sure, yes, they may have uh, uh, hired people who are not who are, like older. But the reality is, if you look at it, back in the day, people look more older than the people who are now. You know what I mean? Like, what happened to the gene pool? But whatever, it is what it is. Chucky, it's whatever. I still can't believe Chucky was on Raw. And Chucky was like the most interesting thing that happened. And fuck the yees, I don't fucking know. If you're gay, you cool, but you know what? Just don't fucking ruin the world, I don't fucking know. And unfortunately, they're ruining the fucking world. I, I swear, they have so many gay holidays. What the fuck is up? Oh, fuck Columbus Day. Let's celebrate gay holiday. Fuck off. Alright, till next time. Peace, yeah, bye. Alright, that's what I'm gonna say, people. Fuck wrestling. Fuck gay Chucky and the gay dude.